right i think we're on part two i think i think the yeah the camera's just done something so we're on it's probably part two welcome yeah. to part two. Oh, don't what somebody just I'll like just a broadcast like, man oh, like, i don't know what accent to do welcome uh, to part two yes yeah, i scottish part two that's better um going back to the man who the nice brother who said he'd spoke to the circuit overseer and was worried about us. So I said to him, do you honestly think that it will help you talking to him? Well, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. Now, he he was broken. He was so down and depressed. Anyway, I spoke to him a week later, and like, like we just said, they took all his privileges off him. I said, uh, before before they said that they'd taken his privileges off him, I said to him, did it help in the end? Did the circuit overseer do anything? He said, I should have listened to you in the first place. That was a complete waste of time. Mm. No, he didn't listen. To, he didn't. He listened to me. He said, yes, he listened. I thought he understood. He's gone back to the others and I've been told off. Um, mafia mode. Mafia mode, yeah. But, oh, such a lovely couple. Now, this is the really messed up thing. That he contacted the elders he gave them a check and said this is for anybody in the congregation who's going to struggle with lockdown this this is just some money to help support whoever needs it um he wasn't telling me his wife his wife told me everything and she and she, she told me about it uh so he's written this check they announce so he, you give them the money weeks go by and then he says you know they've been so horrible to him he says right i need you to take me off your records i don't want to be part of your congregation i want all any, any paperwork to do with me i want it i don't want to be part of what you're doing in your congregation i'm going to move congregations so they gave him his paperwork back and everything and then, after they'd done that, they cashed the cheque to the Kingdom Hall. Then announced that he's... Don't drink that. Go on. No, I can understand somebody being worried about that. But it's only one. What, get in trouble? No, because you mentioned earlier someone said something about drinking with type 1 diabetic daughter. Yeah, can um... Um, I've lost it again now. Oh yeah, they cashed this cheque after he'd got all his paperwork back. Then they announced at the next meeting that he's no longer a pioneer. Not that he's left the congregation. Not that he's left the congregation. Not... Oh, by the way, he's given some money in case anybody needs help. No, he's no longer a pioneer, making it look like he's done something wrong, which is exactly what they've done to us. They've made it look like they've done something wrong. Absolutely disgusting. He gave money to help people, even though the 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 the, the throff, the elders, the, the 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 scum at the top of the manky beer, are like scum and have done what they've done to him he's still looking after the rest of them he he gives them a money he gives them a check and i know there's a, that would have been a lot of money mm. if they, if they, during this covid lockdown if you need any money anything anything's needed to look after these people the flock there's some money they waited till that check cleared before they announced it mm. and it's absolutely disgusting and the lies have been told about that man now the only problem he had and as everyone has, uh, else has said, and I always said, he's too outspoken, and that was the problem. He and, knew. And, it's, he and, and, knew and right it, from it, wrong. it was a problem in the way of it's gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna bite. The it'll get flack from the elders, but the, but there's nothing wrong with being outspoken at all. He spoke his mind, and that's exactly what I told him when I first met him. I said, out of all the blokes at the kingdom, all you're the only decent one there. Yeah, you've cried with him, haven't you? You know, oh yeah, he's, yeah. We watched um, we watched Bambi together. It was terrible. No, he's together. just you know you had such a lovely bond. Now he even 
question thing. Oh, that's what I was. That's what I was thinking about earlier. Uh, I watched a video, which I found quite funny, about the governing body with all the gold rings and everything. Um, that was from Ugly Watchtower. Ugly Watchtower. That was a good yeah. one. Um, but the thing that I always thought was, why do we need? We've got small, simple kingdom halls. Why do we need big, fancy halls? Like for assemblies and things, you know. Oh, look at this hall, it's so mm. grand and amazing. Like the one at Dudley it was an old cinema house and they'd done it up and it was, oh, isn't it wonderful? And, uh, and, and I remember saying, why do Hellaby. we need it though? Hellaby, yeah. Hellaby's in the basement. Why, why do we need it? Um, and I remember sister saying, oh, I need the best for Jehovah, but we've got basic kingdom halls. You've got brothers and sisters in other countries in these little shacks. Why can't we just have a normal hall? It'd be cheaper to maintain. You know, why does it have to be big and grand? And then it was the same with the Hoovers, weren't it? Mm. They did this, they did it. Oh, we weren't there for the vote. We weren't at that meeting. But basically, the brother... We would have been out voting. That's the funny yeah. thing about the votes. No one wants to say no. No one says no when they say put your hand up Of course they don't. Vote. Of course they um, don't. But they basically got these Hoovers. 500 quid for these hoovers yeah they were nice hoovers but not as good as a henry henry hoover would have done the job just as well and would have been a lot lot cheaper that's the congregation's money gone on a